Samudra Mandan is one of the best known episodes in Hindu mythology. The story appears in the Bhagavata Purana, the Mahabharata and the Vishnu Purana, and explains the origin of Amrita, the drink of immortality. Different names, Zagara Manthana, Zagara is another word for Samudra, both meaning an ocean or large water body. Kshirizagara Manthana, Kshirizagara means the ocean of milk. Kshirizagara equals Kshira plus Zagara. Legend, Indra, the king of Devas, while riding on the elephant Iravata, came across sage Devasa who offered him a special garland given to him by the god Jiva. Indra accepted the garland and placed it on the trunk of the elephant as a test to prove that he was not an egoistic god. The elephant, knowing that Indra had no control over his own ego, threw the garland to the ground. This enraged the sage as the garland was a dwelling of Shri and was to be treated as a prasada or religious offering. Devasa cursed Indra and all Devas to be bereft of all strength, energy, and fortune. In battles that following the incident, the Devas were defeated and Asuras led by King Bali, gained control of the universe. Devas sought help from the supreme god Vishnu who advised them to treat Asuras in a diplomatic manner. Devas formed an alliance with Asuras to jointly churn the ocean for the nectar of immortality and to share it among them. However, Vishnu told Devas that he would arrange that they alone obtain the nectar. The churning of the ocean of milk was an elaborate process. Mount Mandara or Mandapavat was used as the churning rod, and Vasuki, the king of serpents, who abides on Shiva's neck, became the churning rope. The demons demanded to hold the head of the snake, while the gods, taking advice from Vishnu, agreed to hold its tail. As a result the demons were poisoned by fumes emitted by Vasuki. Despite this, the gods and demons pulled back and forth on the snake's body alternately, causing the mountain to rotate which in turn churned the ocean. However, once the mountain was placed on the ocean, it began to sink. Vishnu, in the form of a turtle kerma, came to their rescue and supported the mountain on his back. The Samudra Mandan process released a number of things from the ocean of milk. One was the lethal poison known as Halahala, which in some versions of the story, escaped from the mouth of the serpent king as the demons and gods churned. This terrified the gods and demons because the poison was so powerful that it could destroy all of creation. Then the gods approached Shiva for protection. Shiva consumed the poison in an act to protect the universe, and his wife Parvati pressed her hand on Shiva's throat to save the universe. As a result, Shiva's throat turned blue. For this reason, Lord Shiva is also called Nielakanta. Equals Ratnas equals all kinds of herbs were cast into the ocean and fourteen ratnas were produced from the ocean and were divided between asuras and gods. Though usually the ratnas are enumerated as fourteen, the list in the scriptures ranges from nine to fourteen ratnas. Most lists include, according to the quality of the treasures produced, they were accepted by Vishnu, the Devas, and the asuras. There were three categories of goddesses which emerged from the ocean. Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune and wealth, who accepted Vishnu as her eternal consort. Asaras, various divine nymphs like Rama, Manaka, Punjastala etc. chose the demigods as their companions, Varuni, taken, somewhat reluctantly, accepted the demons. Likewise, three types of supernatural animals appeared. Kamadhenu or Surabi, Sanskrit, Kamadhuk, the wish-granting divine cow, taken by Vishnu and given to sages so ghee from her milk could be used in sacrifices. Iravata, and several other elephants, taken by Indra, leader of the Devas. Yukheshravas, the divine seven-headed horse, given to the demons. There were three valuables. Kaustaba, the most valuable jewel in the world, worn by Lord Vishnu. Parajit, the divine flowering tree with blossoms that never fade or wilt, taken to Indra Loka by the Devas. Sharanga, a powerful bow, symbolic of the demon's belligerence. Additionally produced were Chandra, the moon which adorned Jiva's head, Danvantari, the doctor of the gods with Amrita the nectar of immortality. Halahala, the poison swallowed by Shiva, this list varies from Purana to Purana and is also slightly different in the epics, the Ramayana and Mahabharata. 
lists are completed by adding the following Ratnas, Shankar Vishnu's conch, Jtha, the goddess of misfortune, the umbrella taken by Varuna, the earrings given to Aditi, by her son Indra, Karpa Rikshaw plant, Nidra or Sloth, here is a famous chant describing the fourteen Ratnas from the churning of the milky ocean. A A currency a yen A A yen A A yen euro a currency florin a currency a yen O A yen A A yen A A A A A A currency O A A currency A A yen A A A A A yen A A A yen A A A A A yen a currency Sha A yen A A yen A A A A currency florin a four a currency A A A currency florin a currency A A A A yen A A A A yen A A yen A A yen A A A currency. A currency O A yen A A A yen A A A A A A yen A A A currency unregistered trademark A yen A currency A A A currency florin A four A currency A A yen A A currency florin A A A yen A A A yen A currency A yen A A A A currency A A A A A A yen A currency florin A A currency unregistered trademark A yen A currency A yen A A yen florin A A currency A currency Sha A A yen A A yen A A yen A currency florin A four a A A yen A A A A yen euro A A currency Sha A yen A A yen A A A A yen A A A A A A A currency A currency A yen A A yen A A A A yen A A A A A currency Unregistered trademark A yen A currency A A A yen A four Larka to the first pound Ma yen cow stubber Parija take a Sirodon Bantry A can drama A yen Garvul yen Karma Tu Ashura Angstrom Baragaja Rama Dida Vara to the first Ghana yen Eva yen saptamika via to the first pound a a to the first haritanu a yen a a to the first kam a yen tor to the first kam bud a yen. Ratna na ha katadana pratidana to the first curiat sadam to the first kalam. Equals the nectar of immortality equals. Finally, Danvantari, the heavenly physician, emerged with a pot containing amrita, the heavenly nectar of immortality. Fierce fighting ensued between Devas and Asuras for the nectar. To protect the nectar from Asuras, the divine Garuda took the pot, and flew away from the battle scene. While Garuda was in his flight over planet Earth, it is believed that four drops of nectar fell at four places, Piag, Harid War, Ajain and Nasik. This legend is the basis for the belief that these places acquired a certain mystical power and spirituality. A KUMBH Mela is celebrated at the four places every twelve years for this reason. People believe that after bathing there during the Kamar Mela, one can get the primeval heaven and moksha, Sanskrit, mocha to the first pound ha. Huh. Devas appealed to Vishnu, who then took the form of Mohini and as a beautiful and enchanting damsel, Mohini distracted the Asuras, took the Amrita, and distributed it among the Devas, who drank it. Asura Rah Yuktu disguised himself as a deva and drank some nectar. Due to their luminous nature, the sun god Surya and the moon god Chandra noticed the switching of sides. They informed Mohini. But before the nectar could pass his throat, Mohini cut off his head with her divine discus, the Sudarshana Chakra but as the nectar had gone down his throat he did not die. From that day, his head was called Rahu and body was called Ktu. Later Rahu and Ktu became planets. The story ends with the rejuvenated Devas defeating the Asuras. Comparative mythology The Hindu myth has been analyzed comparatively by George's Duma copyright Zill, who connected it to various Indo European myths and even the European medieval legend of the Holy Grail, reconstructing an original myth about a trickster deity who steals a drink of immortality for mankind but fails in freeing humans from death. Duma copyright Zill later abandoned his theory. But the core of the idea was taken up by Jarek Usen, who posits similarities with the Hymask via de Grie. In this old Norse poem, a sacred mead is prepared by cooperating gods and giants, with the gods ultimately winning the drink. The serpent jar paragraph Ramungan takes the place of Vasuki, and the two myths share themes of competition between men, sharing by women. References External links Symbolism of the elements in this story. The story of the churning is found in the Mahabharata, the story of the churning is found in the Vishnu Purana, the story of the churning is found in the Ramayana.